Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75127, the Ghost Microfighter. The set came out in the year 2016, comes with 104 pieces, and retailed for $9.99, which is insane. Microfighters now retail for like $16, LEGO is slowly losing their mind. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the set. So taking a first look at the set, you can kind of see the overall size of the build. It is a normal size Microfighter. And you can see it comes with Hera Syndulla, which I think is the name of the Rebel Pilot. Really good minifigure, we'll get into that later, but first off, let's take a look at the Microfighter's play features. Starting off, the first play feature you will probably notice is there is a gap in the middle, and that is an area for a minifigure to sit. It is a four stud connection, so it'll be very tight. So this is what it looks like with Hera inside of the Microfighter, and as you can see, she won't be falling out of there anytime soon. Another feature this set includes is it has a spring-loaded shooter on the front, which in my opinion actually looks very ugly. Like, they didn't try to integrate this at all, like it just kind of sticks up in the front. They did try to put like a clear piece here for a window, but I still think it kind of like comes off the top really ugly. Even though it is a microfighter, people probably don't care. I just, I think it looks a little obtrusive, but you can just press on it and it'll fire. A complaint I have about the set is actually LEGO kind of missed a really cool opportunity they could have had here. They could have included the Phantom, which I think is the kind of escape pod vehicle they have docked on the back of the bigger sets, and it's actually accurate to the show. They do have like an escape pod in the back, and I feel like LEGO could have made like a tiny model that could just come off right back here. Like they could have put a jumper plate and then made a micro Phantom, and I think that would have been super cool. Even though it would have been minifigure scale, I just feel like they kind of missed out on a really cool play feature with this set. Taking a look at the minifigure in this set, it is Hera Syndulla, which is the rebel, main rebel pilot in the show Star Wars Rebels. And I think she looks really detailed. She has a lot of really nice prints, like the leg printing is really nice, especially this print right here for her like torso and leg connector piece. I think that's really detailed and nice. She has some nice torso printing. I think it's also printed on the back. Not very detailed, but it's nice to include something. And she also has different colored arms to her torso, which is always really cool. Glad LEGO included that. I also really wanted to take a look at her headpiece thing because I think it is really nicely printed and detailed. You can see there's some nice printing on the side and her goggles are printed on there. It's a very nice print, very detailed for a microfighter minifigure, especially with the tentacles in the back. They have some nice printing on it. I feel like this is a really advanced piece for 2016. I mean, I don't really remember what other sets came out in 2016, but this just feels really nice. It's kind of premium to have in a microfighter. She also does have a double-sided face, which is just her looking serious, which is pretty nice. Nothing crazy, but glad LEGO included it. All right, time to discuss value. So when this set released in 2016, it retailed for $9.99 or $10 for 106 pieces. So that's about 10 cents per piece. And I feel like this model does include some bigger pieces, so it is worth it. And I really do like some of the details on the model, like this cockpit piece in the front right here. It isn't really a cockpit, but it's a nice clear piece to kind of represent that. I feel like LEGO did a good job there. Also, the kind of way the wings are like oriented on this microfighter, I think it's really nicely detailed, especially for a microfighter. And the minifigure is really good, so I feel like the set is definitely worth what it was worth back then. Probably not what it's worth now, because I bet this set goes for a lot more on eBay and stuff, but I feel like this was a pretty fair value, especially for that Hera minifigure, which I think was done really nicely. So overall, I feel like this set is a 9 out of 10. To be honest, I really don't like Star Wars Rebels. I think it's kind of a weird show, but I feel like the set is actually really nice. It's really nicely detailed. It is a microfighter though, so that might put a lot of people off towards the set because a lot of people don't like microfighters. I just feel like the minifigure in the set is actually really good, and that's usually what you buy a microfighter for. And the build is pretty good. It's just it kind of lacks that kind of um, phantom docking feature that I kind of wanted to be on the set. I feel like that would have been a really nice extra detail that would have put it over the top. But I feel like it is a very good microfighter with the great minifigure, so that's why it is a 9 out of 10. So there you have it guys, that was my review of set number 75127, the Ghost Microfighter. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.